models, collections, and views are the key backbone components and are the main focus of this course. But I want to take a few moments to discuss events. As mentioned in an earlier movie, the events component is separated out into its own object. However, its core code is mixed into most of the other backbone components. So for example, when we use the add, remove, change, and on methods while working with models in chapter two, we were accessing event code that was mixed into our model code. Now, events are important, and as you continue your backbone education, I encourage you to learn as much about them as you can. But most backbone events are used for listening for changes that occur inside a web app, and those changes usually need to be stored as data somewhere. As mentioned in an earlier movie, that's out of scope for this up and running course. But there is a small piece of event code tied to views that you can start using right away. Views have a small events object that can be used for DOM manipulation, with DOM standing for document object model. This means that we can use this events object to interact with elements on our web page. And in this exercise, this is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm still working with the same code from the last exercise. I have JS views single flower view.js open right now. And as a reminder, this is the code that represents the view logic for a single model. And I'm going to open up my snippets.txt file. And I'm going to highlight and copy lines 10 through 21. And go back to my single flower view. And I have to remember to always comma separate my methods and properties inside my backbone components. So I'm going to add a comma after this curly brace on line 15 and space down a little bit. And I'm going to paste this code directly below the render method. I've created a small object called events. And inside of it are two mouse related events I want to add to my project. And as we see, these are set up as key value pairs. For both, the key is to the left of the colon and represents the event I want to add to my project. Also for both, the value is to the right of the colon and represents a custom method that I want to run whenever this event is triggered. So whenever the mouse over event on line 18 is triggered, a custom method called add bg color will be invoked. And whenever the mouse out event on line 19 is triggered, a custom method called remove bg color will be invoked. And contains a reference to this dot dollar series add class method, which, as you would expect, adds a class to whatever element being moused over, the article tag in this case. The class that's being added is called BG color image and is already in my style sheet. Remove BG color starts on line 26, and its code is similar to add BG color, except it will use jQuery's remove class method to remove the BG color image class from the article when it's moused out. So I should be done here. Let me test my work. I'm going to open up index.html in a web browser and see how. Nice, but click events tend to be more useful. And Backbone has a special way of dealing with this, which is routers. We'll discuss those in the next movie.